He kicked the side of your car. Who does that driving down the freeway? Tonight, brand new information in this suspected road rage crash, which killed a Navy sailor. Officers say the driver hit the motorcyclist on purpose. But tonight, that driver's mother spoke with 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins. And Hannah, she's telling you a different story. She is. She says he caused the crash. Now, this right here is Zach Bube. His friends tell me he served more than 20 years. I just am having a hard time. Nicole Kramer can't understand how a special ops sailor could survive countless high-risk deployments only to fall here on home soil. Zach Bube was the kind of guy who felt like family to her and her mom. It's just a huge loss to our country. He was the kind of guy who sent just because flowers with a thoughtful card. I'll never forget you if you'll never forget me. They'll miss making the lasagna he loved so much. And he put it in a backpack. He says, I'll get this home in one piece because I'm going to eat it all. And I'll even return your Tupperware with the glass case not broken. That's to prove to you how safe I am on my bike. Officers say Darla Jackson hit him on his bike and ran him over on purpose in a fit of rage. Jackson's mom didn't want to be shown, but said Bube was trying to squeeze between two cars and kicked Jackson's car. I had no idea that it was going to be this extreme because seriously, she's so innocent. Mom said her daughter followed him to get his license plate. He cut in front of her and she couldn't stop. It was an accident. He was the one acting crazy and driving erratically. He kicked the side of your car. Who does that driving down the freeway? Something wrong with somebody like that, right? The Kramers say that somebody made his country a better and safer place and that somebody will not be forgotten. It's just like what he was meant to do, who he was meant to be, and if it all was taken away tomorrow, he'd be fine. And it was taken. It was just senseless. Jackson had recently gotten her license back after having it suspended for two years. Now, for some reason, the DMV did not think she could drive safely. We're live in National City, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.